so this is just a random update video. I'm having the worst day now. I was having a good day, you know? Even though I only did one delivery in two and a half hours, because it's slow. Um, Grubhub, no deliveries sent to my phone. DoorDash, I was grayed out because it's um, not busy in my area, I'm not a top dasher. Then now with Spark, I did one delivery. Spark has been slow, but I stayed positive, you know, no big deal. But then a $44 Spark pops up. First it popped up for 40, but I'm like, I'm not taking that. It was 21 miles um, for 12 orders. So I'm like, I'm not gonna take it. It comes in for $45, I'm like, you know, I gotta take that. So I jump on, I accept it, thinking it's gonna be, you know, a bunch of small items. They give me this and I didn't think nothing of it. You know, no big deal. I can carry this stuff in, no big deal. 35 pounds of cat litter, no big deal. Who cares? But usually the packages look like this with Spark. You know, smaller, easier to just run out the car and just drop it off. And But you know, no big deal. They gave me the biggest order ever. You know, so I'm thinking to myself, I can do this. $45, who cares? You know, it takes me an hour and a half, who cares? But then they do the nastiest thing ever. I was missing something. And I'm telling her I'm missing something. And she's like, well, I don't know, can you rescan? I rescan. Cause I've been hit, sitting here dealing with this order a half an hour trying to get it started. So you gotta count that into the time. So really I'm gonna be doing tw two hours for um, uh, $45, but they bring this out. Bruh, you know my stance against rocks, freaking salt, 200 pounds of salt that I got delivered to a fourth floor apartment. And you know what, it's like Walmart AI is so smart to the point that they had me load everything else in. And then I was missing something. And guess what I was missing? 200 pounds of rocks. So I look and I'm like, dude, I, I might have to take this. I can't even deal with this. I, like, I bet you this apartment is going to. Sure enough, the idiot, idiot customer stays on the fourth floor and he needs salt and he lives on the first floor. Actually, it's water softener pellets. So now I have to go up freaking four flights of steps to deliver water pellets. Like, I'm gonna still do it because it's just work. I'm gonna just consider this as work and if I cancel this order, um, it's gonna drop my rating, cancellation rating, and then um, I might not get another order for like an hour, hour and a half, two hours. So I'm gonna do it, but boy, oh boy. These are the things that these companies get away with, okay? Literally, like if I saw that rock, the rocks coming out with the rest of all this crap, I would have canceled immediately. But because I loaded everything up, scanned everything, and I've already been waiting, I started the order, I got the order at like 35 after, and I couldn't like start the um, ride until 45 after. So by the time after waiting, and I loaded everything up, scanned everything, when the rocks came out, which was the missing item, and it was supposed to be one item missing, but they brought four bags of, of rocks out, of pellets out. Yeah, this is the type of tricks and games that they play with us and they try to get away with it. You know, I made a whole video on, you know, um, a Home Depot trying to have me do freaking 400 pounds of, of, of stones for $10. This is the same exact thing, except that was going to her house. This is going to the fourth, fourth floor. And I'm probably, cause I'm so, I'm so ah, with this woman that ordered it. Actually, there's a man that ordered it, um, but more likely it's a woman who um, would not be considerate enough to realize that you can't get tips on dot coms. Dot coms are like straight Walmart orders that nobody else wants to take. They're small little orders, same, like within that two hour, four hours uh, time span, you can get your small order. You know, if you got like two or three small things. But for them to sneak in these rocks, I'm about to contact customer service right now for Walmart and tell them, like, dude, like, dot coms are not supposed to be 200 pounds of rocks. You already put a 48 pound cat litter on my order, which I accepted and I didn't care. I, sh I didn't turn, you know, the, the, the picker away. But you to sneak out, oh God. You to sneak out 200 pounds of rocks as the missing item, like they knew what they were doing. Now I'm about to contact them and tell them like, dude, I'm gonna take this order back. If you can, you know, take this off my, take this off my um, order. And then that way I can take it back and still get the 44 dollars. But more than likely they're not gonna do it and I'm gonna end up having to do this crappy order. But it is what it is. I mean, it's life. You gotta 
go with it. I mean, the only thing I can do now is just rant like I'm doing now and try to uh, make myself feel better about it. You know, and I'm, I'm actually about to work past my lunch I had, but I mean, it's so slow, I might even take a lunch. You know, I try, trying to switch it up um, more so to what my, um, what Kaylin told me to do. So I'm gonna switch it up and, uh, you know, take a set lunch, but now, that's just set me back because I know it's gonna take me like 20 minutes to carry these rocks up this like four pounds. I'm a small guy, I'm weak. I told you I'm about to hit the weight room, but freaking 40 pound bags of rocks, four flights of steps. And I'm pretty sure it's not one of those complexes with the elevator because this is like in the uh, country of Wilmington. So more than likely it's an apartment with like nasty steps that I gotta carry this, these bags up. I'm gonna sweat my shirt out. I have to go to Walmart and buy a t-shirt that I bring an extra one. Let me let me think positive about this. I'm about to make $45. I already wasted 30, actually wasted 40 minutes picking up the items. So if I can knock this out in an hour and 20 minutes, I'll make you know $25 or $22 for an hour. I just wish Walmart would allow these dot-com orders to tip because they need to tip because it's just a, a, a fast, it's supposed to be a fast delivery, it's not supposed to be this. But that's all I got for now, it's just a quick update, I'm out, peace. Update, I'm out of this on, because I just talked to the higher up customer service, uh, or I tried to talk to him and the phone hung up after waiting 15 minutes to talk to him. I'm just chalking this up for an L, I took an L. Um, there's no way around it. Pretty much what happened, and I know now after talking to first representative, the store, Game me. The store pretty much brought out all the items, and then they knew that they left off this 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 uh, this, this the die or whatever this crap is, um, 200 pounds of freaking rock. They left it off, and they knew that once I accepted the rust, that I wasn't gonna have to go through customer service and cancel everything. So I would take the rocks. So they did it. So when I go back to the store, I'm gonna try without getting deactivated because they can get you deactivated. I'm gonna try to talk to the person in charge and tell them, like, dude. You literally just ran game on me. You literally knew that nobody would take these rocks and you added it to my order knowing that this ain't for shopping delivery. This is supposed to be a regular order that I would not have took. It would have been like $12 because the person obviously didn't tip. They're scumbags. They didn't tip for all these freaking rocks and freaking or freaking laundry pellets. They didn't tip. They're miserable human beings. And the Walmart figured they'll just add it on to a dot com order because nobody would take this order for 11 or $12 they're trying to offer. So they just threw it on here because this is not worth $45. I mean, I'm literally, I'm, it's 1146 and I've been, I accepted this order at 11 or at 1030. So I've already been on this order for an hour and 15 minutes. And I'm not going to get it done for another hour. So this is going to be a two and a half hour um, delivery for $45. Just, just, and this, I'm telling you, this rock is going to literally take me a half an hour probably not that long probably about 10 15 minutes because like i'm not gonna Ooh, hopefully that person comes outside and i can tell them a little bit something without getting deactivated but today ain't the day just a little bonus frustration i'm outside of this apartment complex and of course you got to go up the elevator to get to their apartment on the third floor and they don't have building numbers. They have three buildings all next to each other. No building numbers. So I guess you're supposed to text the person because she, when I text the person, she said, hey, may I ask who this order, what name the order is for? And I gave her the name of the person and I'm waiting for a response. And now it's to the point that I'm gonna wait about 10 more seconds. Actually, now I'm gonna cancel this order. These people today are just killing me. I knew, this is my literally my second order. And doing this 12 order delivery for $45, I still haven't got the rocks delivered yet, which is gonna be a disaster. But this person on the third floor, of course, would show you up and I'm not gonna you know, put the person's address on here. But to be on the third floor and not be ready for your driver to arrive, like. Like not ready to give him instructions. I think he's supposed to sit around and just wait. These people are ridiculous today. I just not found. Out of here. Now watch what happens. She's gonna call me in about now I gotta drive all the way up to the Walmart. I gotta drive all the way to the Walmart to drop off this idiot's 
items back to the store. And she's gonna call me in about, I give it about two minutes, she's gonna call me and try to act. She didn't try to call me and act like she was ready to get her delivery, but dude, I called you two times, you didn't answer, and I texted you two times, and you literally responded with, what name is on the order. Like, I'm gonna sit around waiting, like my life relies on, like my life depends on you, to where I'm gonna just sit around and, and wait for your text on a dot com order you didn't tip on. Like I'm your servant. This is why this is the reason why I made that we're not slave videos yesterday. Because these people literally have no respect for us drivers. They just think that we're supposed to do whatever they want us to do. It's frustrating. Frustrating, frustrating. Like this person, sure enough, she just texted me. So she said it's a gift for a friend. Dude, the building number is not on the order. So now, your friend is not getting her gift. I'm sorry. This is just, just ridiculous people are like freaking insane. But as I said before, I'm buying you the people that are gonna say, you're dog seeing the person, you're showing their address. Dude, there's freaking a 200 apartments in there. You don't know which person out of those two apartments I'm talking or referring to. So don't even hit me with that in the comments. But yeah, today's just a nasty day. I think I'm about to make like $60 a day. Jesus Christ, four hours, maybe three hours, if I can knock this out in the next 15 minutes, but I'm out with you.